you got a minute. So this week's gospel lesson is actually one of my favorites. It's Matthew 20, 1 to 16. Now, this is another one of Jesus' parables, except this one, I think when we read it, we think, oh, it's Jesus. He always says and does the right thing. So that sounds good. But this parable is actually kind of offensive if you put yourself into the story. So the story goes like this. There's a guy who needs people to work for him. And so he gets people, he goes out in the marketplace and he gets some people to work at the beginning of the day, sets them to work. He goes out again at noon, gets some more people, sets them to work, goes out around 3 p.m., gets some people to work, sets them to work, goes out for one last time around five, let's say, finds some more people, gets them to work. End of the day comes, time comes for all these people to get paid. They all think that they're going to work, get like paid, you know, an hourly wage or whatever, you know, different depending on how much they got to work. He pays them all the same. And Jesus says, that's how God works too. Which if you think about being one of the people that's labored since the very beginning and somebody who's worked for five minutes gets paid the same as you, that's going to irritate you. You're going to be angry. So I think what Jesus is trying to tell us here is that people get grace from God regardless of our sense of justice. People that you think get it all wrong, God loves them and forgives them too. And that's actually good news because for somebody, you don't deserve grace. All of us, for all of us, there's somebody who doesn't like people like us and doesn't think we deserve grace. But God says, too bad. It's not about you. It's about me. And so as you go through your week, Think about how much grace that you have received from God and try to pay that forward. And remember, God loves you and there's nothing you can do about it. And I can't wait to see you Sunday.